Hi, today I'm going to do a general reading for your zodiac sign based on what you can expect for the month of September. I'm gonna go through Aries all the way to Pisces. You can find the timestamps uh, for your zodiac signs in the description box. Uh, don't forget to watch for your sun, moon and rising sign. The decks that I'll be using for these readings will also be in the description box. This is a little tower of selenite. This is a little piece of clear quartz crystal. I'm burning a vanilla scented candle and I have this little succulent plant that I think is cute. Pretty sure it is fake. So yeah, let's get into the reading, starting with Aries. So Aries, what can you expect for the month of September? Any messages you need to hear? We have judgment and we have the hermit in reverse. The judgment card is a card of finding your purpose, knowing what it is that um, you want to do. So it's sort of like discovering your life purpose. So knowing what you want to do um, in life. It is indicating that either you have already had like uh, a self-realization, epiphany, uh, that you found your inner, car inner calling, or it is something that you've been focusing on. Um, and okay, so I have an Aries placement and... For me, it's really hard to figure out what I want to do because I don't know if it's my, my Aries placement, but um, I like a lot of things and it's very hard to for me to um, zone in into a specific thing to want to do that. So it looks like in September, you're going to be closer to finding your your life purpose or finding what it is that you want to do in your life or at least to find a focus for you right now, something um, to do that you can focus on. Then the Hermit card in reverse indicates feeling maybe a little lonely, uh, feeling isolated. Um, there might be some things that you've been avoiding and having it ne next to the Judgment card makes me feel like you've been avoiding finding your focus so you might have been focusing might have been looking at doing way too many things and these cards together encourage you to uh, find some inner guidance find some kind of go within especially with the hermit card here to find out what you can focus on so Instead of trying to do all the things at once, try and find a couple of things that you want to focus on so you can actually pay close attention and probably be really good at the few things that you decide to focus on. Let's see what other cards I can get for you. I have the Six of Cups in reverse. This is a card that can indicate being stuck in the past. So... I know that September is uh, a month that a lot of you are going back to school, going back to college, or maybe you are starting college. And it can be really uh, daunting to find out what it, your, your new place in um, your new place in your new life, in your new friend groups, in your new class, everything uh, that can be kind of daunting. And you, m some of you may be looking to the past and, and thinking, of how it was before and really longing to um, to live in the past but it really is time for you to move forward to find your focus and start doing new things it really the six of cups reverse indicates or encourages you to move on and to look to the future rather than the past then i have the four of coins in reverse which is interesting the um four of coins upright is um, feeling very protective of yourself, sometimes even a little possessive. Um, but having it be reversed tells me that you are encouraged to release clutter and to be careful uh, to not overspend. I know that especially going back to school or for many people, September is going to be a new start for, for people. I know that it is for me. And you are um, warned to not overspend maybe, I don't know, on coffees or uh, something like that to kind of watch your money a little bit because uh, money is not endless, it's not limitless. So you are definitely encouraged to, uh, to be careful regarding your money. 
uh, as well as the release of clutter. So um, releasing of things in the past that you're trying to hold on to that don't really fit in your new life. And then the last car tarot card that I want to pull is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, this is um, a card, uh, the Queen of Wands reverse is somebody who uh, has a bad temper, uh, they are quick to anger. Um, so I guess this could be a warning to not turn into the reverse Queen of Wands and to um, find some, some calm and to create a, a place, a space for yourself where you can kind of calm down. Um, and let's say, oh, the Queen of Wands actually corresponds with the zodiac sign of Aries. So I guess this almost is a warning to not let your um, toxic Aries traits, because I think every zodiac sign has very positive as well as toxic traits, to not let the toxic Aries traits um, take over. So um, keep your calm and find ways to feel more more confident and to feel more um social almost uh, I've, i'll also see some um lack of so let's see what other cards i can get for you from oracle what kind of messages do we have we have bloodstone get up get moving as uh, some of you may have not been uh, physically active a lot uh, or enough and aries usually is a sign that loves to be physically active so um, it's interesting that we get the Bloodstone uh, card here to encourage you to get moving. Um, it doesn't just mean a physical movement. It also can indicate you needing to move on from things you've been holding on to in the past and to let go of certain things and to really pick your priorities. And then we have adventuring, create your own luck. I feel like some of you may have, might be feeling a little bit unlucky, however that, uh, whatever that means for you, but you've been feeling a little unlucky. You are a little uncertain of the place where you are right now and you're really sort of searching uh, for your your place in in life right now, and the adventurine um, encourages you to start creating your own luck, to start creating your own certainty, uh, because you cannot always just leave it up to fate. Um, you have to take action. You have to actually do things in order for things to happen for you. Then the last thing that I want to see for you, Aries, uh, what you can do for self-care in the month of September. I actually have two cards that I want to come up. So I guess you're getting two cards. We have Be Still, which is super interesting. It's, it's funny that we have the Get Up, Get Moving card here and Be Still. I think this indicates that being still has to do with calming down a bit and to not get um, angry so quickly. Um, and then we have the, the get up, get moving is to actually get stuff done, but to not kind of lose your mind in the process, if that makes sense. And we have a watch a movie. That's easy enough. Um, if you have a, a Netflix account or whatever, or rent a movie, I don't know if people still do that. They probably do watch a movie, watch um, maybe because we do have the six of cups here, uh, watch like a childhood favorite movie. So maybe some of you loved to watch Disney. I am from the Netherlands and there are definitely some Dutch movies that I am very nostalgic about. So I would love to go watch one of those movies. So yeah, that is what you are encouraged to do for the month of September, Aries. Um, please let me know in the comments down below how this reading resonated with you. I would love to hear from you. If you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description box and the pinned comment. Currently, at the time of filming this, I am working on building a new website. Uh, so you can always go to my Etsy shop and purchase a reading for me there. You can also find my homemade tarot bags um, there. And if you want to see more pick a card readings, definitely subscribe to this channel because I do them all the time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Taurus, welcome to your predictions for the month of September. Let's see what the cards have to say. What can you expect? Any messages that you need to hear right now in the month of September? Let's start with two cards. We have the High Priestess in reverse. So the High Priestess is um, connected to the moon. So it is connected to our 
divine um how do you say that like in intuition or connection to the divine um and having it be a reverse tells me that you might have been feeling a little bit disconnected to your intuition um so if you personally do some divination uh, maybe you haven't really had the time to do that or you're some of you even though you are watching a tarot reading not everybody who's watching might be very spiritual, might be a little bit skeptic uh, even. And um, the High Priestess in Reverse can also indicate uh, secrets, uh, that, that there are secrets that um, you are keeping or somebody else might be keeping them from you. And I get the feeling that they, some of them might be coming out in the next month. So if you have some secrets that you are afraid of coming out, uh, you might wanna come out with them on your own terms. It's a card that can indicate the denial of yourself. So uh, let's see what this card is. It's the five of coins. Um, that's a card of uh, struggle. So maybe you have been um, denying um, some struggles that you are going through and you're trying to be stronger or you're trying to be perceived stronger than you are uh, feeling and there's just a general theme of um, overthinking which i know many of us tend to do so the five of coins uh, upright is a card that indicates struggle financial loss um, but having it be in reverse tells me that um, you are overcoming that energy. So you are overcoming obstacles. Uh, there are some positive changes of fortune happening um, for you in the month of September, which is great. If there's anything that you feel like you need to recover from, whether that is your um, disconnected intuition or something, those things are going to happen for you um, in the month of September. But of course, I don't like to say that, it, that it's just going to happen because you do need to um, put in the energy, put in the work to, uh, to make it happen too. So let's see what other cards we can get for you. What do you need to know for the month of September? We have the Seven of Swords, which is a card that is pretty interesting. It's... Um, it indicates some sort of betrayal or trickery or even some sort of petty win. Um, there's something that you need to be aware of when it comes to other people. Um, but since we do have pretty inward energy here so far with the High Priestess, even though we do have the, the secrets, so again, be careful that um, nobody is going to leak your secrets before you are ready for the world to know about your secrets, if that makes sense uh, for you. Um, it's a card of getting away with something. So this could also mean that the secrets that you are keeping, that you feel are, um, might make other people think weirdly about you. Maybe you're going to get away with it and, and, and it's not as bad as you might think it is, especially with the five coins reverse and having there be um, recovery. Now we have the 10 of cups in reverse, which is a, um, a card that you usually want upright, but it can mean different things. It can be a um, family card. Um, so it can indicate some family problems, some disconnection from your family. Um, so having the disconnection from family, disconnection from the divine and the high priestess being a feminine energy it could be the disconnection from a, a female um, person from your family or somebody who has a lot of feminine energy in your family that you've been disconnected from that can be a good thing it could be a bad thing uh, it is whatever you want it to be um, if i do see in the card that there is the potential for recovery of the relationship if you uh, if, if that is what you want so the Ten of Cups can indicate family problems. It can um, also indicate some sort of intolerance. So the secrets that you are uh, keeping, uh, even though generally it will probably be well received, there will always be people who, um, I don't know, cannot stand to see other people happy or they just always find a reason to tear someone down. And I feel like you shouldn't um, put too much weight on that. To be honest, um, the Ten of Cups in reverse can also indicate some sort of breakdown of ideals. 
So if you've been, um, I know that in all over the world, p politics um, looks different and uh, some of you may, may be uh, needing to vote for something um, soon and uh, you are, I, I feel, I don't know why I get this idea, uh, but I feel like um, it is a good time to break down your ideals. What is it that you believe in? Uh, maybe what kind of um, politics um, go well with that or what is it that you can do in your daily life that align that, that aligns more with your ideals so let's see one last tarot card for anything that you need to know in the month of september we have the hermit upright we had it in reverse for the uh for aries so um this can indicate that for the month of September, you are encouraged to do some soul searching. Um, the Hermit is a card of going on like a retreat, but by yourself to get to know yourself better. You can see here he is on his um, uh, like a retreat on a on a journey, and he or this is somebody who you can um, meet on your journey to more awareness. So this could also indicate that you're going to meet somebody who's going to help you um, get to know yourself a little bit better. Maybe you reconnect to your intuition. Uh, that is something that I see for you in the cards here um, in the Hermit. So let's see what other cards I, or what other messages I can get for you. From the Oracle, we have communication. Um, it's always good to have a little bit more communication. It can indicate that communication, um, good communication is needed. Uh, when it comes to your secrets, when it comes to recovery, or even uh, your family, um, your family problems, communication. You can also try to communicate to yourself a little bit better. So, what is it um, that your ideals are? How is it that you can connect to your intuition better? Maybe uh, start journaling. We do have the uh, quill with the ink here. So for some of you, it might be a great month to journal, maybe even set like an intention for yourself to journal um, every single day, maybe at the start or at the end of every single day. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just uh, a couple of sentences might be uh, good for you. And then we have productivity. Um, it indicates that it's gonna be a productive month for you next uh, month. But I also wanna say that productivity isn't everything. Uh, productivity isn't the most important thing. So some of you um, might be feeling a little bit overworked and you have to kind of go back to safe space uh, within your mind, within your actual physical space um, and to realize that productivity isn't everything and that just being still, being yourself is uh, okay. So now I want to get a uh, self-care prompt for you. Oh, we have family. Okay, so we, we do have the family card here. Family is going to be um, a big part of your month of your of your life next month connect to your family who you care about and who cares about you and try to find strength in family with whatever it is that you are um, going to do going to encounter next month so Taurus this was your reading I really hope you enjoyed it that you resonated with it uh, please let me know in the comments down below you can also book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me through the links in the description box and the pinned comment I am working on relocating my website so um, if it's not working you can also always go to my Etsy shop and purchase a reading there. You can also find my handmade tarot bags over there if you're interested in those. Yeah, um, and I do pick a card readings all the time. So subscribe to this channel if you're interested in any of that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi, Gemini, and welcome to the reading for September. So let's see what the cards have to say about what you can expect for the month of September. Any messages that you need to hear, the focus of your next month. We have the Seven of Wands reverse and we have the Ace of Swords reverse. So the Ace of Swords upright usually means having a mental clarity, um, having a breakthrough and new ideas. So having it be in reverse kind of uh, sometimes means the opposite, sometimes means just, um, 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 how do you say that, a blocked 
energy of that. So it could be that you are currently feeling kind of confused. And um, since you are Gemini and air sign, I feel like this be, this has been weighing a lot on you because um, swords are air energy. So you m might have been feeling very confused about certain things. Um, since we have the wands here, it could be uh, confused about your passions, about what it is that you want to do in life. Um, or um, since the Seven of Wands indicates feeling vulnerable, feeling exhausted, uh, that could have to do with each other. So you might be feeling both mentally and physically very tired. And you are definitely encouraged to take a little bit of time for yourself and to uh, allow yourself some time off and to uh, reconnect to, I don't know, if you are religious or spiritual, to just connect to yourself, basically. And um, this card, the Seven of Wands in reverse, indicates that you've been feeling like giving up, that you've been wearing yourself down, you um, have maybe not even put your defenses up, or not meaning that you haven't really set boundaries, or that your boundaries um, have been crossed by somebody. And with the Ace of Swords in reverse, uh, it indicates a lack of clarity. It indicates uh, some sort of mental overload. So like I said, f feeling physically and mentally uh, kind of strained. So I feel like that is the energy that you're taking into the month of September. So ooh, I'm dropping a lot of cards. Let's see, what can you do to kind of fix this, to kind of get your mental and physical clarity and energy back? Let's see what it is that you can do, because I feel like that is pretty valuable to know. We have the Seven of Coins, which is a card of planning ahead, having patience and job satisfaction. So being happy with where you are. Are you? happy with where you are right now or is your current job maybe what is mentally and physically uh, draining you of energy and how can you um, get more aligned how can you get more satisfaction from your job maybe you need to work uh, a few less hours if you are in a in a place to do that um, or just have a talk with maybe your your boss um, if you aren't your own boss <laughs> Or, well, I mean, maybe you should have a talk with yourself if you are your own boss and your work, your career, uh, your job is making you feel physically and mentally strained. Um, it is a good idea to have uh, to have a chat about how you can um, take a little bit better care of yourself because a good boss will find it important that you feel good and a good boss will want to help you uh, feel better and they won't want to overwork you because first of all they should care about you as a person but also if when you are overworked when you are sitting at home not being able to work anymore you're also kind of useless I'm using air quotes useless to them so they should want to help you out uh, when it comes to work overload and um, let's see seven of pentacles um, it indicates planning ahead so and, and as well as timing. So there might be something timing-wise in September that is going to happen for you. Uh, I do feel regarding your career, we do have, we have air, fire and earth energy here. So that is interesting. Um, and it can also, um, it is a card that wants to encourage you to sort of plan ahead. So maybe you've been um, kind of flying by the, what is that uh, saying? Flying by the seat of your pants or something like that. And maybe um, you just need a little bit more planning. You need to write down a plan to kind of gain your, at, at least your mental clarity back a little bit and to get some new ideas out there to um, to really feel um, a little bit stronger mentally. Let's see, what else is it that you can do to uh, make yourself feel a little bit better? We have the King of Cups in reverse. So... 
the king of cups upright is somebody who's very emotionally balanced very diplomatic and calm so having it be in reverse tells me that you are maybe feeling a little bit moody or the person who contributes to you feeling emotionally or so sorry physically and mentally drained the person who is helping you feel that way is somebody who's very moody and who's um i don't know maybe this is also somebody who is um, unable to take charge. So this could be you unable to take charge when it comes to your career and to stand up for yourself. Or it could be a boss or somebody who should be a, a leader to you, but they are struggling to do that. And that is making you struggle in your job too. Because if you are working for somebody and the person who you are working for isn't great at being a leader and they aren't great at leading you then how are you supposed to sort of follow how are you supposed to do your job right and so again i feel like there is a need to uh, communicate about your struggles and to communicate to whoever this is that is helping you feel this way um, to communicate um, and find ways to uh to take better care of yourself so let's see one more card i have the knight of coins the knight of coins is somebody who's very uh, efficient and patient and they are like somebody who you want to be working for you they are trustworthy they are responsible they are loyal to you or loyal to the company maybe even and they are patient so this could be somebody who's coming into the workplace maybe i don't know why i feel so much work energy but i do um this could be somebody who's coming into the workplace to make things a little bit easier easier for you or the person who is supposed to lead is uh, gonna ch how do you channel more energy like the knight of coins instead of the king of cups reverse uh, but there's something about this energy that is gonna make life a lot easier so whether that is that you are going to find ways to work more efficiently or that your uh, patience is going to um, is going to work out um, something something like that or that the I don't know, there's something like I said, there's something about the Knight of coins energy that is going to work out in your favor um, in the month of September. So let's see. Um, what the oracle cards have to say what other messages you need to hear we have tomato love well we had a lot of career uh, or i got a lot of career vibes from this uh, reading and it is important that you shouldn't if you are in a relationship or you are dating somebody uh, to not have them be the back burner but also don't overspend your energy in a relationship if there are some other things like taking care of yourself that have to be done first so because love is important uh, but relationships and dating and all that kind of stuff should come second to your own well-being to your physical and your mental well-being so for some of you, it could be that for your own well-being, you need to spend a little bit more time with your uh, partner. And, it, and for some of you, it, you should spend a little less time or you should not forget to take your own priorities and to your own needs um, into consideration. And we have potato. <laughs> we have grounding. Um, that, that could be a, a little hard for some of you since you are Gemini energy air energy grounding isn't something that comes very natural to most of you or many of you we have here you can see we have a tarot card so some of you might pick up a deck or if you already have a tarot deck you are encouraged to do some uh, groundwork to really um literally get back to earth uh, because you have been feeling so in your head with all of this all of these struggles and you are encouraged in the month of september to do some groundwork whether that is meditating yoga just i don't know maybe just hanging out with some people to kind of get back to earth and to get back um to get out of really um some toxic situations at work or maybe even in a relationship 
So now I wanna pull one card um, for self-care because I encourage self-care. Uh, let's see, what can you do in the month of September for self-care? I love this, write a gratitude list. This can also help you with the grounding. So write a gratitude list, anything that you are grateful for. Um, write it down, um, write down one thing you are grateful for each day or a couple of things a day. And then you'll have a list of all the things that you are grateful for. I personally, in my uh, bullet journal, I have a, a be happy list and I write down all the things that make me happy. And it's kind of the same things as everything that I am grateful for. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Gemini. This uh, was your reading. If you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description box um, or the pinned comments. I'm currently working on relocating my website. So if that is not working, you can always book a reading with me through Etsy. You can also find my homemade tarot bags on there if you're interested in those. And if you want to see more pick a card readings, definitely subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you here. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Cancer, this is your reading for the month of September. Anything that you need to know, any messages that you need to hear for the month of September. Let's see what it is, what your focus is. Ooh, that was almost um, dangerous <laughs> with my candle there, oops. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. And we have the Knight of Swords. So the Three of Cups is a card of community, of friendships. Um, so having it be in reverse tells me that it could either be a falling out with friends, it could be um, f wanting to be more independent. So if you are in a friend group or if you are friends with somebody, you've been feeling or one of you have been feeling um, like they want to be a little bit more independent or like they want to have a little bit more alone time. Um, with the Three of Cups, we also have the phrase um, threes crowd. So if you have a friend group with three people or maybe one of your friends has uh, is in a relationship right now and you feel like, like the third wheel or whatever, um, that could be something that this card is picking up on. But it could either be needing to be alone a little bit more or kind of distancing yourself from a friend or a friend group or even a community. Or it could be... Uh, some trouble in the friend group and some struggles that you are going through, some friction uh, almost. And the Knight of Swords is a card that is, um, he, they are somebody who is very action-packed. They are unstoppable. They have high energy, high motivation. They are ambitious um, and very action-oriented. So it could be that that is uh, the energy that somebody in the friend group has or that you have that is calling the friction within the friend group. So there's somebody who's very motivated to do things or they are, I don't know why I suddenly get this idea of somebody might be very motivated and be into an MLM. I don't know why I feel that, but for some of you, it could be that somebody in your friend group is in an MLM and they are very ambitious and they have a lot of energy and motivation for that. And that is causing friction because um, I'm not going to go into all of it, but I am very anti MLM um, because I believe that the, uh, the business model is created to fail anybody who's not at the top and they are, they encourage very predatory um, business, just predatory business. Let's just keep it at that. But for some of you, it may be um, about something like that, or it, it, it is energy that is similar to that. So somebody who's very motivated about something that they are doing and they are just unstoppable, very ambitious, and that is creating tension in a friend group. If this is you, then maybe you are working on something, found a new hobby, found a new job, or found a new study, school, other friends maybe that you're very um, ambitious about or very uh, motivated, have a lot of energy about, and that, it, that there are people in the friend group who are either jealous or who are just not happy about, uh, not just not happy about it. We have the Ace of Coins in reverse. This could indicate, sometimes it could indicate um, loss of finances. So um, it enc encourages you to keep kind of keeping a tight budget, being frugal. It could also indicate lost opportunities or it could warn you to um, not, um, it, it could warn you to losing opportunities or to not, 
uh, to, okay, whew, words, it encourages you to look for opportunities um, and so that, that you will not lose them, basically. We also have the lover's card in reverse. Okay, this could be that the friction in the community, the friction in a friendship or a friend group is somebody who you are very much connected to, who you have a very deep bond with. The lover's card isn't always about romantic relationships, but it does indicate uh, a deep connection. So it could be somebody who you are very good friends with that is, um, that, that is having tension right now. The friendship, the relationship, the connection has a lot of uh, tension. And the lover's card in reverse can also indicate some sort of imbalance, disharmony, um, as well as lack of communication. So, and, and with the Knight of Swords here, also communication, air energy, there might be some lack of communication. So somebody could make you feel some sort of way or you are making somebody else feel some sort of way, but they just might not know because it hasn't been said. It hasn't been clearly communicated. So there's definitely the encouragement of better communication there as well. But it's also a card that can indicate that um, your values don't align, that one person has maybe whether it is political values or it is about the MLM, that one person is into an MLM or something similar and the other person just doesn't agree with it or something like that. Um, so that is what I'm feeling so far. Let's see, what is it that you can do? So I want to know, I want to have one card for you to take action. Anything that you can do to take action about what it is. Because I'm just telling you things, uh, but what is it that you can actually do? We have the Six of Cups reverse, um, which is a card that indicates that you've been living in the past, that you've been holding on to the past. So maybe again, this could be somebody who you have been friends with or you've had a connection with for a very long time. And for some of you, it could be that uh, you need to move on. You need to look to the future. Um, and it is, a, it is a card that indicates that somebody has been living in the past, that trying to hold on to the past, holding on to th th things, the way things were when it's just not the way things are anymore. Uh, so it's a card that um, encourages you to move on. So I hope that that, uh, I hope that, that helps. Now I want to see what Oracle has to say for you. Other messages, other things that you need to know. I have the Red Jasper. Take action. Whatever it is, whatever it is that is bothering you, don't let it keep bottled, bottled up inside. But take action, go communicate, go do something. Uh, because if you don't do something, things will not get better. It's as simple as that. And we have the Golden Healer Quartz. It says here, open door. But I personally have a Golden Healer Quartz. And to me, it's very positive, uh, very uplifting energy. So do something to get you out of the funk. Do something that makes you happy. Um, if you are the Knight of Swords here and you there is something that you are very um, ambitious, very happy, very energetic about, then just keep doing what it is that you love to do. Keep doing things that give you energy and that make you have a more positive uh, outlook on life. Now, I also love um, encouraging self-care. So for the month of September, you can focus on music, whether it is making music, singing, uh, maybe you have um, the skills of playing guitar, playing the piano or singing, and you are encouraged to pick it back up if you have kind of lost it. Um, pick it back up in September and do something or find some new music. Go browse Spotify or browse Apple Music or something and find some new music to enjoy and to listen to. Yeah, so Cancer, this was your reading. I would love to hear from you if it resonated in the comments down below. Um, also, if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description and the pinned comment. I am currently working on relocating my website, so if that is not working, you can always um, 
go to my Etsy shop. Wow, words. You can always go to my Etsy shop to book a reading there. You can also purchase my uh, tarot bags there, my handmade tarot bags if you're interested in those. And if you're interested in seeing more pick a card readings, I do them all the time. Definitely subscribe to my channel to uh, see them. And yeah, I just want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Leos, welcome to your pick a card roll. I mean, welcome to your reading for your uh, for September. Wow, I am starting off great with words. So let's see what messages you need to hear, anything that you can expect for the month of September. So we have okay this turned this way so we have the eight of pentacles in reverse and we have the knight of pentacles let's get it into frame all nice um the eight of pentacles in reverse is a card that um it talks about uh, perfection wanting things to be perfect over analyzing nitpicking um and things going very slowly uh, because it's it's not weird if you are so perfectionistic then um, things aren't going very quickly because you overanalyze everything. You um, keep um, being like keep cleaning the same spots over and over again until it's perfect. And but you still have the rest of the window to do, if that makes sense. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which by the way came up in reverse, so I don't know why I put it that way. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who is stuck in a rut. Um, this also indicates perfectionism. Um, and it's like Virgo energy and we are in September starting off in Virgo season. So the Virgo energy might be might be getting to you um, and you you you've been stuck in a rut. You've been maybe in the same routine and you are bored and you need to switch it up a bit um, or the energy with the three of wands here it indicates the lack of vision there are obstacles to overcoming you kind of have like a limited perspective i feel like you are like i said stuck in a rut stuck in a routine that isn't satisfying that isn't really motivating or inspiring you and you lack foresight you lack vision um all those obstacles or anything that, that seems to be in your way a little bit, you see as an obstacle to overcome and it can be very overwhelming. Uh, so let's see what is it that you can actually do in the month of September to uh, feel uh, a bit better. Okay, I have the Queen of Swords, which is somebody who tells you as it is. So is this not focused? That's better. Uh, so the Queen of Swords can indicate that you need somebody in your life who tells you the way things are. Um, they are somebody who has clear boundaries. They are somebody who have unbiased judgment and very direct communication. So it could be that you need to seek out somebody in your life who is like this. Uh, this is very much air energy. So it could be uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, something like that, or just with those energies. Um, or it could be that somebody um, is coming into your life next month that is going to help you with that. Or you just need to channel your own inner queen of swords um to tell you how things are and who tells you to get off your ass and make the changes that you want to see in your life because if you don't make any changes you're not going to see any changes you cannot just expect things to happen to you even when you watch tarot readings things aren't just gonna happen to you you need to um there's always your own decisions, your own actions, your own free will at play when it comes to all of these things. We have the Five of Pentacles, which tells me that that is something that you struggle with. <laughs> the Five of Pentacles is a card of uh, a struggle. It is a, a card that tells me that you worry way too much, which is something that you probably already know. Like I said, there's a lot of Virgo energy that I, uh, that I get here and you need to... Um, you need to channel your inner queen of swords. You need to find solutions. You need to act to those solutions to get out of the place where you currently uh, are. So let's see what... I haven't even used this deck in a, in a reading yet. So Leos, you're the first. Let's see what other advice we have for you. 
Ooh, we have Libra. So again, that air energy, feeling more balanced, finding balance, um, better balance in your life is something that you are encouraged to do for the month of September. Um, you're encouraged to be honest, not just with others, but also with yourself. Um, what is it that is making you feel stuck in this rut, stuck in this routine? And be brave enough to, um, to make the changes. Let's see what other advice that we can get for you. We have Mars taking action, um, being empowered, finding what it is that gives you a drive, finding what it is that drives you, that gives you energy. Um, that is, that those are some action points for you uh, because I, I feel like you haven't, maybe some of you haven't really been taking action as much as you would maybe have loved, would have liked to, uh, maybe things weren't as easy for you in uh, in the month of uh, August or the p last couple of months. And there might have been a lot of things that you've been wanting to do, but haven't really been able to do. And Mars tells you that September is a perfect time for you to just do it, to make the time um, because it's going to give you so much energy and it's going to, it's going to make you feel very good. So, uh, lastly, I want to go over something that you can do for self-care for the month of September because I encourage everybody to implement more self-care in their um, in their lives. So that is why I am using my sacred self-care oracle. We have nourish your temple. Ooh, mm, this is a call out for anybody who has been eating very badly. And of course, there's nothing wrong with treating yourself every once in a while with having some junk food or whatever. Uh, but you are encouraged for the month of September to really take more care of yourself. This is, you can see this in many ways. You can see this with healthy foods. If there is maybe, um, so I am vegan. So I want to say if you've been thinking about going vegetarian or going vegan, even if it's just for one day in the week or for just being very flexible with it, like flexitarian, then you are definitely encouraged to do that in the month of September. Eat more veggies, um, eat more healthy meals and nourish your body because it's going to help you get more energy. It's going to help you ju to just make you feel so much better. And it can also kind of add something to your routine. If you maybe want a meal prep, plan or meal prep, it can add something to your routine that's going to help you get out of your ruts and that's going to help you just get more energy overall. So Leo, this was your reading. I hope it resonated with you. Let me know how it resonated with you in the comments down below. Also, if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description box, in the pinned comment. I am currently working on relocating my website. So if that is not working right now, you can also always book a reading with me through my Etsy shop. You can also find my handmade tarot bags uh, on my Etsy shop if you're interested in those. And if you want to see more pick a card readings, general tarot readings, all that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe to this channel because I do them all the time. And I would love to have you here, of course. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Virgo, welcome to your tarot reading for the month of September. Let's see what it is that the cards have to say, what messages, anything that you need to focus on, anything that you can expect for the month of September. So let's see, I have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and I have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is interesting. This is the same card that I got for Leo in the same position in the same place. So that is interesting. So the Eight of Pentacles indicates real Virgo energy. It literally corresponds with astrology, sun in Virgo. So having it be reversed tells me that you've been over I mean, this is typical Virgo energy, right? Over analyzing, um, f wanting, craving perfection, really nitpicking. And then we have the 10 of pentacles in reverse, which is, um, talks about wealth or in, in, in the case of having it be reversed, uh, feeling a little bit, um, insecure about your finances, having there be a possible loss or even the dark side of wealth. So some of you could be facing the dark side of wealth. So if you have come into a lot of money, then there might be some 
possible struggles, some possible obstacles that you are uh, facing in the month of September. I I'm gonna pull a couple of more cards to see what this uh, could mean, some sort of uh, clarification for this. We have the moon reversed. So the moon um, is a card about intuition, about illusions, and having it be in reverse tells me that you are overcoming your, or you are encouraged to overcome your fears and anxiety, um, especially in regards to the perfectionism. Perfectionism often can come from anxiety, um, fearing that things aren't good enough, and you are definitely encouraged to overcome that anxiety and to overcome your, um, or some of your perfectionistic um, mindset and to focus on your growth, to focus on how you can grow your wealth, your other things that you find um, important. Uh, the moon in reverse can also indicate some emotions being repressed, especially since we first um, pulled two earth, two pentacle cards, and now we have the moon repress repressing emotions. Might be something that you have been doing and you are encouraged to get more in tune maybe with your uh, emotions. Then we have the Eight of Swords reverse. Upright, it means that you are feeling restricted and maybe you have been feeling restricted in the past, but you are definitely, um, or at least the energy of the card is about overcoming, accepting responsibility, um, releasing negative thoughts. So that is something that I do see happening for you in the month of September, that you are gonna release negative thoughts, that you are um, more open to accepting uh, the way things are, to accepting your current position, your current mindset, to accept it, but not let it be because you, you are encouraged to keep working um, on it. So let's see one more thing that you can actually do, one more thing that you can take action on in the month of September is the Five of Swords. Ooh, okay, so this tells me that there's some friction between some people and some people are gonna feel victorious and some people are gonna feel um, like they have maybe been taken advantage of or like they've been stabbed in the back. It's a card that indicates loss, bullying, conflict, even some sort of competition or some sort of disagreements. And it gives me the feeling of that you or somebody else in your life is trying to win at all costs. Maybe for some of you that means something and you can connect it to somebody. Uh, if not, then that part of the message is just not for you. Um, interesting. So there might be some conflict maybe when you are trying to accept the way things are or when you're trying to move on. There will be, there could be some people who won't benefit from that and you might get into a conflict with them. But you are always encouraged to do what is best uh, for you. So let's see with my oracle cards what energy I can pick up on for you Virgo. Anything that you need to know, anything that you can take action on, anything that you just need to know. We have Gemini. Uh, oh, let's see, let's put it in the frame. Gemini, a card about communication, about thinking, about uh, maybe journaling, writing things down. You are encouraged to maybe connect to somebody else um, that you haven't been connected to in, uh, in, in a while. Uh, Gemini, the card can encourage you to, like I said, want to journal, want to communicate better, uh, all of those good things. Let's see what other card I can get for you. Oh, we have Mars. I got this for the other, um, for Leo as well. Again, you are encouraged to look at what your drive is. What is it that you love to do? What is it that gives you energy? And do more of that. Now I want to pull a self-care prompt for you, Leo. Or sorry, we are Virgo. Let's pull a self-care prompt for you, Virgo. Uh, because I encourage self-care. And that is why I have my sacred self-care oracle here. To pull a prompt for self-care for you. Oh, we have spent time with animals. So if you have pets, definitely spend more time with them. If you have a dog, take it out for a walk or cuddle with your pets or 
if you don't have any pets go out in nature or find somebody else who has pets and just spend some time with animals because it can be really grounding can be really um, nice to just care for I, I personally find it very nice and uh, to care for my dog and to spend time with my dog so yeah you're encouraged to spend time with animals so virgo this was your reading i would love to hear from you how it resonated in the comments down below you can also book a personal tarot reading with me through the links in my description box or in the pinned comments i am currently working on relocating my website so if that is not working, you can always book a, a reading with me through my Etsy shop. I also have my uh, homemade tarot bags on there if you're interested in those. I just want to thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more Pick a Card readings, subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you here. And I hope to see you next time. Hi Libra, this is going to be your reading for the month of September. Anything that you need to know, any messages that you need to receive, what your focus is going to be for the next month. Uh, let's see, we have the Magician. Ooh, so that means that there are tons of possibilities for you. Um, the, the Magician card really is a card of you having everything that you need in order to succeed. So it can be a card that encourages uh, manifestation, knowing that you already have all the tools to make it happen, um, to really take inspired action. Um, it is a card that encourages willpower and that shows that you are gonna have the focus to do whatever it is that you wanna do in the month of September. So that is very uh, encouraging. We have the Hermit, a card of, um, how do you call it, introspection, a card of, um, looking within, quiet wisdom, inner guidance, to follow your inner guidance with whatever it is that you want to do and that is going to help you succeed. If you um, recently have been in a lot of social settings, you might be um, encouraged to take a little bit more alone time in the month of uh, September. If August was a very social month for you and you are um, a little bit like drained from all the social interaction because uh, same <laughs> then you are definitely encouraged to take a little bit more alone time to retreat um, and to work on the things that it is that you want to work on then we have the seven of wands this can indicate some sort of uh, conflict it can indicate um, uh, as you can see here being in the wrong place at the wrong time um, it could indicate something like that, but uh, overall the Seven of Wands um, is a card that um, encourages you to hold your ground. So if there is um, if there is something that you are doing here, then you should hold your ground. You should stay true to your principles and to keep going the way that you are. Um, this could also indicate that you're going to have a conflict with somebody. And again, this is a card that indicates or that encourages you to... Uh, hold your ground to uh, not necessarily run or get into defense mode, but to definitely stand up for yourself uh, because you are allowed to stand up for yourself. Uh, let's see, what else can we get? Anything that you can take action on maybe? I have the Two of Swords. This can, again, indicate, especially here, right? We have two people here kind of fighting, but they don't seem to be mad at each other it seems to be almost playful fighting so there the the conflict is going to be maybe between somebody or the conflict can be with somebody who you are close with who you might not expect to be in a conflict with or it has been a long time coming and that is you and this card encourages you to not um be very sharp and very uh, harsh with them but to keep in mind that you do have a connection and to keep in mind that um, you can fight a just fight. You can fight a fair fight. Um, I hope that that makes sense, but that is kind of what, I, uh, what I'm getting. So hopefully that will make sense when this happens. The Two of Swords is also a card that indicates uh, choices, weighing two different options, as well as making a difficult decision um, that could have to do with anything, but there's going to be a difficult decision uh, that could happen for you. Ooh, I have the Eight of Wands in reverse here. Oh, this is interesting. So we have the decision. 
have the seven of wands upright here and the eight of wands in reverse here. So it could be that the decision that you have could be um, to either um, stand up for yourself, to persevere, or it could be that you have decisions made with to make with um, delaying something because the eight of wands upright is about having quick changes, movement, opportunities, they're having a, there being a lot of energy. So having it be in reverse tells me that there could be some obstacles, that something or someone is resisting changes or that you just aren't prepared enough. With the magician here, I do feel like whatever it is that you want to do, you are prepared enough, but maybe you aren't feeling like it or there are some, there are going to be some brief delays. Um, like making a decision or having this conflict that is going to uh, delay whatever it is that you need to do. But it's it, it's just going to be a delay. It's not going to be um, like totally not going to happen anymore, if that makes sense. So let's see to look at the Oracle. What has the, the wow words, what the Oracle has to say for you, Libra, for the month of... September. We have Neptune, which is uh, the planet of mystery and illusion, and it represents our dream life. It represents our uh, mystic qualities. So this tells me that um, it represents your dream life. So you are going to get closer or you're going to, yeah, I feel like you're going to get closer to figuring out what your dream life is and to start taking action to make that happen for you. It is also a card of, it is a planet that rules Pisces. And Pisces is a really dreamy, sort of floaty sort of sign. Um, so you are warned or you are encouraged to not be too floaty about it. And to really don't forget to actually take actions. Or to take action, I should say. And we have Virgo. So we're going to be in Virgo season for the most, for the biggest part of September. So this could in, encourage you to start up a routine to get working on your dream, to get a routine just in general to, because usually in summer, a lot of us don't really have a, have a routine, we just kind of, I don't know, kind of live and um, when it's, because it's like it's summer, a lot of us have summer, have summer vacation and uh, you are encouraged to kind of build up uh, a new routine uh, to stick to because it's going to help you take action. It's going to help you uh, put any steps into uh, into motion regarding your, your dream or regarding what it is that you, uh, what you want to do. So now I want to pick a card for my sacred self-care oracle. This was really fast. Uh, drink tea. This is going to be your self-care prompt for the month of September. I always really like doing some self-care, implementing some self-care and encouraging you to implement self-care in your life. Um, so find some teas that you like. Maybe um, get a bunch of different teas and just try them all and just find out what it is, what tea you like to drink. And then with your tea, maybe meditate or take just a little bit of a silent, even when it if if it is five minutes minutes of silence, to just sit there, and to to just kind of calm down and maybe think about things, or maybe even better, not think about anything. So, uh, Libra, this was your reading. I hope you liked it. I hope it resonated with you. Let me know how it resonated with you in the comments down below. If you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description box or the pinned comment. I am currently working on relocating my website. So if that is not working right now, you can also book a, a reading on my Etsy shop. You can also find my handmade tarot bags on Etsy if you're interested in those. And if you want to see more pick a card readings, more general tarot readings, definitely subscribe to this channel because I do them all the time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Scorpio and welcome to the reading for you for September. I have like the perfect deck for the Scorpio reading because it's the mermaid deck, uh, the mermaid tarot, and it has water energy and it is, gives surprisingly deep readings, which I feel like is um, a perfect representation of Scorpio. So let's see what the cards have to say for you. Anything that you can expect for the month of September, anything that you need to focus on. 
for the month of September, anything that you can take action on. Oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is uh, one of the best cards that you can get. It's one of my favorite cards in the, in the deck. And it indicates that good luck is coming your way. Karma is gonna work out in your favor. Um, there's gonna be some points in the, in the month that's gonna be like a turning point for you um, in a good way. So there are changes coming. Things are gonna, they're gonna, okay, whoo. They're gonna be changes in September, but they're gonna be good. They're gonna work out in your favor. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, which basically is a reminder, is a message for you to not overshare. Um, whether that is um, information, whether it is oversharing information about yourself that could be used against you later, or it could be literally oversharing, giving so much that um, that it's gonna take away from your own life and your own maybe even um, financial situation. So this could also be about debt uh, or some sort of obligation that you have. But since we have it with the Wheel of Fortune, I'm feeling like if you are in debt of, or if you have some obligations or anything like that, then there are, is going to be some good fortune regarding that for you in the month of September, which is good news, definitely. We have the Five of Cups. This is a card that tells me that you have been feeling a little pessimistic. You've been focusing on what hasn't gone right in your life instead of what has gone right. Um, let me actually show you the card because the art here is beautiful and it's kind of been reflecting here. Um, then we have... The devil, that is a card of restrictions or feeling restricted, maybe even it's a card of almost, um, how do I want to say this? Um, there's a word for this, distracting yourself with certain things. So I definitely feel like you've been distracting yourself with your pessimistic thinking and that has been holding you back. But as long as you can let go of these pessimistic thoughts about, um, there, like I said, it, it could be some kind of restriction, some kind of obsession or some bad habits like, I don't know, smoking, drug or alcohol use or abuse, addiction, all that kind of stuff. You are encouraged to work on that, to shift from your pessimistic mindset and to look at the good fortune that absolutely is coming for you in, um, in the month of uh, September. And I have the Hermit in reverse. I also got this card, which I do definitely want to play. So let's put it here. Um, the Hermit in reverse and the Four of Swords in reverse. So these two cards kind of have like similar energy because the Hermit card is about introspection and looking within and having it be um, in reverse tells me that you, you may have been feeling a little lonely, a little isolated. Um, maybe you've been feeling like people have been avoiding you. And it definitely is a card that indicates depression or the start of a depression or just feeling a little depressed. And the Four of Swords is a card that indicates that you are try wanting to heal, um, needing to heal, needing to recover and needing to focus on self-care. But having it be in reverse tells me you've kind of... Oh, that's the boat in the harbor next to my house. I'm sorry. Anyway... Um, the Four of Swords in reverse tells me that you have been doing the opposite. So you've been very stubborn. Um, some of you may have been feeling close to a burnout even. And you need to rest. You are unable to go on like things are right now. Luckily for you, there are good things coming. There's going to be a good uh, turning point, a, a change of fate for you in the months of September. But in order to receive that, you need to be open for it. You need to let go of all this pessimistic, of all this negative thinking in order for you to actually receive the, the, the good news, the good luck, whatever it, it is going to look like for you. And the Four of Swords is telling you that whatever it is, you are overdoing it <laughs> and you need some rest. You need some time to comp contemplate you need some time to heal and recover and you need to do some self-care. Luckily, I always talk about self-care 
And uh, let's just start with it. Usually I want to end the reading with this, but since we are talking about self-care, uh, let's do, uh, let's get you some prompts for self-care. We have positive affirmations. Yes. Tell yourself that you love yourself, that you are brave, beautiful, worthy, grateful, that you are healthy and happy. Uh, do positive affirmations, write them down every day, write down a positive affirmation. You can write down the same affirmation every day, or you can change it up, whatever it is that you feel like you need to think for yourself. And we have read, um, whether that is reading some uh, mindset shift books, whether you just like to read fiction, uh, whatever it is that you can kind of get your mindset shifted or to just find some rest. Maybe for some of you, you can find rest through reading, reading fiction, reading whatever. Um, but yeah, that is what you are encouraged to do. So let's see what other messages we can get through Oracle. Let's see. What is it? I have Mars. Uh, this has been coming up a lot. Uh, the Mars card. Um, it is about your drive, about your energy. You've been not having a lot of energy or not really having a lot of good energy. And you need to find what it is that can give you positive energy. What is it that drives you? What is it that you that, that drives you so, so you can do more of it? So you can, I don't know, get more of it in your life. So you can get more positive energy, more drive back into your life. You are encouraged to definitely do that. And then I have Aries, which is funny because Mars is ruled by Aries. Uh, so Aries is kind of stubborn. Aries is also a good leader. So I feel here that you need to take more leadership of your life. You've been really focusing on, like I said, on negative things. You've really been um, putting your hand, your life, your your happiness in the hands of life, in the hands of others, maybe even. And you need to take that back. You need to take your uh, happiness. You need to take the, the way that you feel like you are going to get happiness. You need to take it back in your own hands. You need to be, be the leader of your own life and look for things that are that make you happy. Look for things that are gonna bring you more luck in your life. So Scorpio, this was a heavy one. Didn't expect anything else <laughs> for you. Um, so I would love to hear from you how this reading resonated in the comments down below. If you wanna book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description box or the pinned comment. Um, I am currently working on relocating my website. So if that is not working, you can book a reading through my Etsy shop and you can also find my homemade tarot bags there if you're interested in those. I just wanna thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more pick a card readings, all that kind of good stuff, definitely subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you again. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your reading for the month of September. So let's see what messages the cards have for you. Anything that you need to hear, anything that you need to focus on or anything that you can take action on. Let's see. I have the magician which is a very positive card one of my favorite cards in the in the tarot because it indicates that you have everything that you need to take action to do the things that you want to do you are encouraged to um, channel willpower you are this tells me that you're gonna have to focus the willpower uh, to take inspired action we're encouraged to start manifesting whatever it is that you want because um, the energies are right for you for the month of September. Then I have the Six of Swords. This is a card that encourages you to move on. This is um, this tells me that you need to make decisive change. That there are things in your life that you already know that you need to change. Uh, but you haven't really felt like it's the right timing or whatever it is. This tells me that and tells you that right now September is the time to transition, to make the changes that you already wanted to make. Uh, cut your losses, cut out everything that isn't uh, working for you. This is a card that wants you to release your baggage, whether that is physical baggage. Um, it could be time for you to declutter your home, your 
collections, whatever it is that you maybe have been collecting or just declutter your closet or declutter your life basically uh, from physical items as well as people. If there are people in your life who are draining you, who aren't making you feel great in the way that they're supposed to make you feel great, then this is a sign for you that you need to um, either cut them out or not give them as much attention as maybe you used to. There's going to be a defining moment for you in the month of September that is going to help you make the change, take action. Ooh, I am very excited for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what else I can get for you. I have the Eight of Cups, uh, uh, but it's reversed. So when it's upright, it wants you to move on. But having it be in reverse tells me that there's still some indecision. Um, there's this energy of, okay, so I, I know it's not really been working out, but let me just try one more time. That is the energy that the um, Eight of Cups in reverse gives. So even though you know you have been thinking of making this certain change, there's still some hesitation on your part. There's either some indecision, not really knowing what decision is it you need to make or which route you need to go on. Or if you do know, then you, you've just, you're still trying to hold on and you're clinging to what is familiar and you're kind of fearing the changes that you know are inevitable. Not only are they inevitable, they're going to help you in your life so much. They're going to help you take action. They're going to help you just, I don't, I don't know, I almost want to say be a better version of yourself, but they're just going to help you with everything that we already talked about with the Magician and the Six of Swords. We have death. That tells me that transition, change, it's going to happen. Whether you keep resisting making the decision, things are already, I feel like things are already set in motion with the death card here. So we have resistance to change. We have moving on, being decisive change. And we have change kind of happening all around you. So this tells me that, like I said, things are already set in motion. Things are going to change regardless. So you might as well just have it be decisive change instead of having it thrown upon you things changing around you and you still clinging to the old being afraid of change that is not going to help you that is not helpful energy so you might as well take control take action um, to have the changes um, go more your way or um, yeah more like more like that so um, and it, these changes are necessary for you they're encouraging you to eliminate whatever is not working for you. They are encouraging um, transformation for you too. And we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So this tells me that um, you've been having worries, you've been having almost anxiety, but mostly just worries. Um, and having it being reversed I, um, definitely shows me that you are overcoming those fears or you are encouraged to overcome these fears of um, of change and you're gonna do some mental healing you're gonna heal mentally you're gonna find a new perspective you're gonna find a new way of looking at things so maybe the change isn't gonna be so scary so that is definitely encouraging don't you think i think that is encouraging so let me pull some oracle cards to get some more messages, to get some more insights on anything that you need to know. We have Malachi, it is time to transform. Wow, there is, there's no way around it. Things are gonna change, things are gonna transform. And I do think it's up to you on how you handle it and whether you are going with the flow and you're gonna go ahead with the changes yourself so you can have some control over it or you're going to resist it and things are going to happen around you anyway. You're going to feel very worried and very anxious about everything. So it's just, it really is up to you on what you decide on how you want to handle this. But transformation and, and changes are definitely going to come. And this card encourages you to transform yourself with it. Uh, to not just have the situation or whatever it is change, but to change yourself too. Change your perspective, change 
um, how you deal with things um, and to, again, take action. And we have Epidote Go Deeper. Maybe you are somebody who likes to keep things more on a surface level, to not really look within, to not really go deep. But it, for the month of September, whatever it means for you to go deep, um, I'm not gonna lie, does this not look like a little cluster of weed? It does, doesn't it? So if you are of age and um, smoking weed is legal where you are for you right now, then maybe you are encouraged to uh, calm down a little that way, if that, if that makes sense. You know, this isn't for every, any, everybody. But just for those who are called to it or who have been thinking about it, um, always do that safely. Um, don't do it alone all by yourself, of course, um, especially if you are new to it. Uh, but it can help you maybe go a little deeper to not just stay on the surface level. Um, and it might help you even gain more new perspectives on things. So I have never, ever encouraged anybody to do something like that in a reading but i don't know i just i'm kind of i'm getting it so self-care for the month uh ooh, for the month of september you are encouraged to try sound healing so if you already have these sound bowls at home you can use those i don't have them because they are quite expensive i found like smaller ones for like 50 euros so you can also look up some videos or some um, audio on Spotify maybe or some videos on YouTube on sound healing um, maybe that can help you with your anxiety with your fear of change and that that could be very healing for you because you know it's called sound healing so maybe that could be very helpful for you in the month of September so Sagittarius I hope you enjoyed this reading let me know in the comments down below how it resonated with you and um, if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me you can do so through the links in the description box as well as the uh, pinned comment. I am currently working on relocating my website. So if that is not working, you can always book a reading with me um, on my Etsy shop. You can also find my homemade tarot bags on there if you're interested in those. And if you want to see more pick a card readings, more general tarot readings from me, definitely subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Capricorn and welcome to your reading, your prediction for the month of September. So uh, yeah, anything that you need to know, any messages that you need to hear, anything that you need to focus on or take action on for the month of September. Let's see what the cards have to say. I have... The Seven of Swords, it could be some sort of trickery, some sort of petty win. Um, b people not being honest with you or you not being honest with yourself. There's some sort of trickery, some sort of deceit. And we also have the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who's very restless, but also very unfocused and impulsive, impatient. So the person who could be tricking you could be this or you could you could be feeling restless and you could be feeling unfocused uh, and impatient which is very uh, unlike Capricorn so that could make you feel very tense uh, some of you might be feeling very tense uh, because you haven't you have not been feeling as focused as you would like to Capricorns are usually um, usually like to know what they're what they're doing. They like to know what path they're on. They have a plan, and some of you might not really have that, and it's making you feel a little restless. And you you feel like you're you. Some of you might have been being a little impulsive, and that's not really like some of you. Uh, and some of you might be feeling very impatient. Um, and the Seven of Swords is um, throwing me off a little bit, but it I, I think it is more, I don't want to say a warning, but it tells you that you need to be aware of the people around you. That's what I'm getting. That people aren't maybe as nice about you behind the scenes or people are talking about you behind the scenes, something like that. So let's see. 
what else we get. Okay, I got the Five of Cups. This is a card of pessimism. Uh, some of you might be feeling very negative. Um, we already kind of got that with the Knight of Swords, Reverse, and the Seven of Swords. So we have the Four of Cups. So this is something that you can take action on. Uh, because the Four of Cups tells you to take some time for yourself, to meditate, to... Um, that it, it tells me that you've been dissatisfied You and um, you need to kind of close yourself off. Some of you have been already doing that maybe a little bit too much. But you need to close yourself off and work on healing and work on your pessimistic mindset. Um, we, I've been getting that a lot um, in these readings. People who have been feeling um, a little bit too pessimistic. Um, and we have the Queen of Swords. We have three swords and two cups. That tells me that there are a lot of um, emotions that you've been feeling... That you've been restricting. Which... Honestly, is not surprising for me to hear from a Capricorn. Uh, but the Queen of Swords is somebody who is independent. They have clear boundaries, direct communication. And that is something that you might be lacking right now. And that you are encouraged to kind of find for the in the month of September. So take some time for yourself to close yourself off, to meditate, to con contemplate, to find out what it is that you are dissatisfied about, because I can't really find that here in the reading. But there is something that you aren't completely happy about, and maybe you personally don't even know what it is, but I, I think that for the month of September, you are encouraged to find out what it is that you are dissatisfied about, so you can actually work on... Um, going against it and to to figure out ways to kind of to problem solve uh, i do feel like capricorn love to problem solve so find out what the problem is and try ways to solve it take some time for yourself try to get your emotions in in, in balance in a little bit a little bit so let's see what the oracle cards have to say for you capricorn I have Virgo. This tells me that this talks about routines, not having a, a good routine or being stuck in a routine that's not working for you. Um, it tells me that you need to analyze some things and that you might have been overanalyzing other things. Um, and that you, some of you might have to check up on your health. That is something that I'm getting. Check up on your health. And we have Scorpio who is ruled by Pluto, the planet of transformation. So there are some things that you're going to need to change. Like your mindset, your routines maybe, or something about your health. Scorpio is one of those signs that are very misunderstood. So maybe some of you are feeling very misunderstood in some way that is making you feel pessimistic but honestly it doesn't really matter how other people perceive you i personally don't think so i think you first need to look within because you are already not feeling great or some of you aren't already already aren't feeling great and that is something that you need to focus on over the perception of others about you scorpio also tend to obsess over things um so you definitely are encouraged next month to kind of cleanse your energy um to kind of get over anything that you've been obsessing about and maybe talk about some of the things that you've been dealing with and don't just keep them bottled up inside so let's see what self-care prompts i can get for you for the month of september look for fairies this indicates sort of connecting to your inner child I feel like Capricorn are like, that's my dog, Capricorn are like the, the dads of the Zodiac. And some of you might struggle to kind of connect to your inner, um, to, to your inner child. Do something that, um, that feels nostalgic to you, whether it is watch a childhood movie or to, I don't know, go to Disneyland or go to whatever it is that you used to when you were a child, maybe eat at a restaurant that you used to eat at as a child that you have very fond memories of, but to do some things to, uh, to reconnect to your inner child. So Capricorn, um, let me know how this reading resonated with you. If you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading me with me, you can do so through the links in the description box or the pinned comment. I am currently working on relocating my website. So if that is not working, then you can also book a reading through my Etsy shop. 
Uh, I also have my tarot bags, uh, my handmade tarot bags on there if you're interested in those. And if you want to see more pick a card reading, more general tarot readings, you can also subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Any messages that you need to hear for the month of September? Anything that you need to focus on? Anything that you need to take action on? Let's see, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This uh, is somebody who knows their worth. So if you are have been struggling with self-worth, September is a perfect month for you to work on your self-worth, whether it is um, journaling about things that you love about yourself, uh, anything self-care related. I'm do, I, do, uh, I am gonna pull some self-care prompts for you um, so that could help you. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is also somebody who's uh, very satisfied in their career. They are devoted to their career. And with the Eight of Wands here, it, it tells me that there are some good things coming for you regarding your career in the month of September. That is exciting. Then I have the Six of Pentacles, a card of giving and receiving. It tells me that you need to be careful to not overgive, to not overshare, uh, whether that is information about yourself to not overshare information about yourself on your at your job and your in your job at work or it could be to not um oh, give too much money to spend too much money on other people um especially if they don't um want to spend anything on you sometimes you know people don't have as much to spend on things as you do and that is very different but i feel like you can uh, differentiate whether they don't have the money to spend at all or whether they just don't want to spend it on you then we have the justice card in reversed this is a card that um, tells me that there's some sort of bias or dishonesty about something it could be regarding to this person it could be a person in your career that, that there's some uh, i don't want to say corruption but some sort of injustice somebody who struggles to take uh, accountability about something again it could be this person who uh, you have been giving a lot to but hasn't really been giving uh, back too much uh, then i have the temperance card again a card that talks about imbalance there is some imbalance happening whether it is in your career i, I don't think it's going to be in your career i think this is more in your personal life with maybe social uh, there is some sort of imbalance some excess in some things and some um lacking of anything like lacking in self-care also which we're gonna get to for you um there's some sort of tension in your i think in your social in your social uh group or your like people in your friend group maybe or just some friendship that there's gonna be some uh, imbalance so you are encouraged to either work on that if you want to or to just let it be whatever it is and just focus on your career if that is something that you enjoy focusing on. If you feel like it's going well and you want to focus more on that, why not? Why not focus on things that are going well for you, that are giving you energy, that are making you feel more positive instead of focusing on people in your life who aren't making you feel positive and happy and who aren't giving you energy. We have Mercury, a card that indicates but you um first of all there's like talent skills so you definitely have the talents and the skills to excel in, in in your career it also is a card that encourages um communication so i already said that if you don't want to give this any energy you don't have to and you don't but if you want to then you can uh, try to find ways to communicate better to communicate your feelings to communicate your struggles and your emotions to this person but only if you want to they you don't owe them anything if anything they owe you uh, but i do feel like you shouldn't focus too much on that negative energy for the month of uh, september and we have cancer this could be home life changes maybe in your home life maybe your career is going so well that you shouldn't forget to spend energy at home uh, with your family or whoever um, maybe changes are coming in your home life in a good way maybe some of you might be moving uh, some of you might be leaving your home because mercury 
is also associated with like short travel, short term travel. So some of you might be going on a trip and being away from home. Uh, but this indicates that you shouldn't forget about home and people who you have living at home. It tells me that there also could be some changes at home, whether that is moving house or transforming your room or living room or something like that. Now for self-care, intuitions. So don't forget that you can, and we have, for self-care, we have intuition. Um, don't forget to connect to your intuition, whether that is with meditation, with yoga, with tarot, whatever it is, how you like to connect with your intuition, you are encouraged to do that for the month of September. So Aquarius, this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below how it resonated with you. And if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, you can do so through the links in the description box or the pinned comment. I'm currently relocating my website. So if that is not working, then you can always book a reading through my Etsy shop. You can also find my homemade tarot bags on there if you're interested in those. And if you want to see more tarot readings, more pick a card general tarot readings, definitely subscribe to this channel because I do them all the time and I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Hi Pisces and welcome to your reading for September. Any messages that you need to receive, anything you need to focus on, anything that you can take action on. Ooh, we have the 10 of swords reverse. There's something that is coming to an end, a cycle. I feel like a toxic cycle is finally coming to an end. There's going to be a new beginning for you. Um, and um, it's, it indicates some sort of recovery. Uh, some of you might have been resisting an inevitable end, whether that is in your relationship or some of you are starting at a new school and you've been kind of resisting it because it's, it, it can be kind of scary. Uh, then with the King of Wands in reverse, this tells me that... Uh, you might be likely to be very impulsive. Uh, you might be um, coming across something who's very manipulative and you are warned to not fall under that manipulation, if that makes sense. Um, to not... Um, they might have very high expectations of you or you might be having very high expectations of yourself. So that is something that you need to look to. Then we have the princess of wands in reverse. Usually uh, the upright is a free spirit, somebody who has limited pot potential. But this tells me that you have been lacking vision. You have been lacking, uh, you've been having very self-limiting beliefs and you don't need to Pisces. There are a ton of, a ton of things that you can do. We have the uh, six of cups here. This is very childlike energy. So instead of thinking those very self-limiting beliefs and to be very unambitious and kind of lacking direction, um, connect to your inner child. These um, six of cups can indicate revisiting the past. Maybe there's something from the past that you uh, never did that you would love to do that you can do in the month of September. Uh, like I said, it can be having to do with some childhood memories that maybe still be uh, in your mind. Something with revisiting the past or nostalgia that um, is gonna that's gonna happen for you in uh, in the month of in the month of September. So let me see what is it that you can actually take action on. We have nine of wands in reverse. Interesting. We have a lot of wands energy here, a lot of fire energy for uh, for you, Pisces water sign. So the nine of wands in reverse indicates some sort of uh, struggle, feeling overwhelmed and um, regrets over past. So if there is anything in the past that you have been wanting to do, but you never did and you have regrets over it, find ways to do that, to to do the things that you never got to do that you were that still might give you energy. Um, let's see, I have focus. So interesting that I pulled it over the Princess of Wands who is very unfocused. In September, you are encouraged to find your focus, uh, to find, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you might be mentally not very clear. You, like I said, very unfocused. Uh, so in September, you are encouraged to find your focus again. And we have longevity. Find out what things um, can happen for you in the month of September that will be in it for the long haul. Whether that is a relationship that is going to go the distance. Whether that is um, a career that you could do for a longer period of time. Or anything that has more longevity is going to happen for you in the month of September. Or you're going to find it in the month of September. Or you're going to find out if certain things are just not 
meant for you to to be uh, long term so for self-care we have build strength whether that is physical strength and going to the gym or whether that is mental strength to be able to handle certain situations a little bit better so pisces this was your reading i really hope it resonated with you let me know how it resonated with you in the comments down below if you want to book a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me you can do so through the links in the description box or the pinned comment uh, i am relocating my website so if that is not working you can always book a personal reading with me through my Etsy shop, where you can also find my homemade tarot bags if you're interested in those. I also do pick a card readings, general tarot readings on my channel all the time. So if you're interested in those, definitely check it out. Subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.